Hello, I am Mr. Thailand. Welcome to Bangkok. Everybody knows where you go when the sun goes down. I think you only live to see the lights of town. Bangkok is one of the most dynamic cities in Southeast Asia and probably the world. It's also one of the hottest and most polluted. And that's largely due to the fact that there's a dominance of unleaded petrol and a complete fetish for cars. Still, if you look around you, you'll see a glorious mix of locals, tourists and expats, all living cheek by jowl in what I can only call organised chaos. I lie awake at night to wait till you come in. You stay a little while and then you're gone again. Mr. Thailand and his rickshaw turn heads and his smile is infectious. But this isn't just a gimmick. This man used to be a farm labourer. Now he's turning a pretty penny and brightening up people's days on his rickshaw, or Sam Law, as they call it here. What is your favourite place? Oh, the in Bangkok? You, uh, market uh, flower, you know. The flower market? Yeah, flower market Thailand. The Kamyo flower everywhere. We think, we think. Look, you can look see. Beautiful. Really good, yeah. It's a significant and inevitable phenomenon that many young people are following in Mr. Thailand's footsteps and moving out of the countryside. The big city beckons and increasingly consumerism and technology rule. Thailand is now one of the world's biggest producers of computer hard drives and of course cars. The number of people living below the poverty line has fallen dramatically from 42% to just over 7 in the last 25 years. Thailand is officially recognised by the World Bank as one of the great development success stories. Where there's food, there's CDs, there's clothes, there's so many options. And many of the younger generation are buying into the new lifestyle, like Jackie, who's forging a career in TV and film. Right now, the biggest trend is K-pop. So, Just Korean pop? Yeah. Before it was um, Chinese pop, and then it gravitated to Japanese pop. And then now, the huge trend is Korean pop, which you see right here. K-pop and J-pop, soap opera and manga, Japanese and Korean fashion and cosmetics. Like many young people in Southeast Asia, it seems ties are mesmerized. Everybody loves trends here, you know, and um, IT, like we have MBK, a big IT mall. We have Fortune Town, a big IT mall. There's copied stuff, there's real stuff. The, the iPhone, there's an e-phone, there's a A-phone, there's all sorts of weird stuff. But the latest fad, says Jackie, is cheap and simple. People love bubble tea. Bubble tea? Bubble tea. What's that? It's like milk tea with yeah. little tapioca balls. It's really, really delicious. Why do people like that so much? It's very good. You need to try it. Mm. Oh, it's jelly bubbles are good. Actually, OK, I quite like it. <laughs> and it's refreshing. And it's refreshing. Energy for shopping. <laughs> yes. The point is, it's a trend, and you're nobody unless you're doing it too. But as you walk through one of Thailand's 30,000 Buddhist temples, you do wonder how these trends, rampant commercialization and materialism all fit in with Thailand's much revered Buddhist philosophy. How does a pious Buddhist reconcile instant gratification with his way of life? To consume is fine, but I always ask that uh, before you consume, think yourself, do you really need that? Do you really want that? It might look like you are damaging not anybody else, but you are damaging yourself. <laughs> you are damaging your mind. You are damaging your awareness. In that sense, once you damage your awareness, of course it is having a global impact to others.
The Khao San Road in Bangkok is a favourite haunt for the backpacker set. It's a diverting way to pass the summer break, especially when there's not much going on back home. While Thailand prides itself on its liberal attitudes to the partying backpackers, there are concerns from some politicians that the emphasis is on a quick buck mentality, taking over tourism in Thailand. Successive governments um, have been uh, providing greater, too great an emphasis on, on quantity uh, rather than focus on the quality of the product. If you look at how, for example, um, the island of Samui or Phuket has developed, uh, one can't help but be concerned. Backpack tourism, I have a different perception for these backpackers. As a matter of fact, they are young people who would like to travel on their own and experience the lifestyle, get in touch with the people. And they are our young customers. And in the future, there will be probably bankers, there will be the you know, engineers, probably top executives, and some of them ambassadors, that they will visit us again. The crux of the matter is that Thailand is now taking a more long-term view of the legacy of tourism and its financial impact. Rising visitor numbers per se are not enough. The contribution to the Thai economy is of more concern.